Welcome to Crypto and Coffee in the Morning. I'm Barricade. And I'm Metro. Got a great video for you today. Let, tell us about it, Metro. All right. So, Doxed has their Docs pad and they're launching a crypto. So, I did some research, looked around on the YouTubes, didn't find anything on Scorpion Finance. So, that's exactly what we're going to get into today Scorpion Finance. Let's get into this. Scorpion Finance. Scorpion Finance. So this is going to be available on Doc's Launchpad soon. And we've you've seen us do videos on Doc's already. It's a cryptocurrency that we are both very excited about. And Metro's been to a lot of their Ask Me Anythings and has learned a lot their AMAs, about their, yeah. their project. And... He's got to talk to people that are part of the Scorpion Finance team. All right. So I, I hit up the AMA on the Scorpion stuff. And yeah, so since Doc's Launchpad is throwing this out there, saying, hey, we audited it or we uh, KYC'd them, we're going to go ahead and do a video on it. See if it's worth our worth our time, worth our investment. What, what are the pros, cons, you know, yep. that kind of thing. But before so. we get into this, we are not financial advisors. We're simply crypto enthusiasts. So this is strictly for entertainment. All what? right, now give us the goods. Let's get into this. All right. So going into Doc's Launchpad, uh, we're just going to show it here on the screen. Uh, scrolling down. Now, they're... Uh, Docs.org is up and running. You can go check it out there. Um, but uh, here at the Docs Launchpad, which is uh, <clears throat> go to your URL, throw in docslaunchpad.com. Here we are. There's not a button from docs.org to the Docs Launchpad. Not yet. I, I'm not quite sure if it's in the making, but maybe it will be. Anyway, here we are. The Project Showcase. Scorpion Finance. Now, let's go ahead and check out their homepage so we click over to their homepage uh, we can check out what they got here and they got a buy audit live chart it's important to know that they are not launched yet they're not on coin gecko yet they're not on coin market cap uh, you can't pick up their assets on uh, pancake swap yet because everything is being launched through the docs launch pad it will come soon but at the moment you have to go through docs launch pad and you have to own docs tokens to participate in this sell now, is this worth participating in? Let's check it out. So they're gonna have auto dual rewards, 10% uh, in BNB, 5% in Scorp Ben. So you, your reflections from every buy and sell are gonna be paid out in BNB and in their own native token. Uh, they're gonna have giveaways. They got some use cases already. I, I think they have two already. Uh, their website here is It'll show uh, why Scorp Finance. Go ahead and give it a read. Definitely read their white paper. Their white paper is looking pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and go into that white paper. All right. So the white paper is looking pretty cool. Um, talks about NFTs, what they're trying to do, their, uh, their portfolio trackers, uh, Scorp Swap. Um, video yeah. game. <laughs> video games. They're, they're trying to get into all of this and it looks pretty cool so far mm, i think my favorite thing so far is uh the bnb rewards because a lot of things have to a lot of tokens have uh the uh reflections but yeah I, I like how uh, it's bnb bnb is something that's pretty steady but they're gonna reflect in bnb hello okay yeah, and we could swap it out for more docs or right whatever we want to get with it. All right, so they're gonna have things coming soon um, from their white paper. They got score pay. It talks about what they're trying to do with the score pay. Um, doing a scan a QR code, uh, be able to pay with crypto for pretty much anything. We'll see how that works out. Um, they they give the problem. They give their proposed solution. And yeah, so I definitely recommend taking a look at their white paper. It looks pretty cool. And 
the graphics are fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think there's much more to stress about that. Check out their white paper. Take a look. It looks pretty cool. And um, yeah, so let's go back to their homepage. Going back to their homepage, we can see that they have been audited. And um, we went ahead and went to the audit page here like by clicking the button and it's from Interfi. It's not Certic yet. They are working on it. Uh, Docs will help them to get the Certic um, audit, but at least it's audited by somebody, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down and we're gonna go to the, the one page in most audits that really matters. Uh, what the are the- pass fail. The pa yeah, the pass fail. It talks about the contract, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, total supply uh, provides information about uh, total token supply. Yes, it was tested, passed. Everything passed here. It's looking good, you know. Um, and I, I didn't see anything. Uh, I didn't see anything to worry about. So one of their low errors is typographical errors. So maybe some misspelling, punctuation. I'm, I'm not positive. Or maybe code or uh, yeah, coding. Yeah. Um, functions that are not used, dead code, and that's low as well. Yeah, so, we we are just normal guys. We're not blockchain engineers. We're not. We're not. We're like, crypto enthusiasts. Let's we're, look at that. We're like your normal guys that ride motorcycles and work regular jobs, and <laughs> so yeah, we're just taking a look at this white paper here. All right. Let's go, let's go ahead and go back to their uh, homepage, scroll down a little bit as we're checking them out. Uh, you can, so these buttons, they're gonna take you to uh, Pancake Swap and Scorp Swap, but let, let's just click on it, see what it does. You know, cause we're doing it live. And what do we got here? So this is their Scorpion Finance. Oh, cool. <laughs> it actually took us here. But uh, I wouldn't suggest, at the moment, connecting because they are not launched. I would not connect anything, uh, wait for them to launch here. Um, Pancake Swap, you can jump over here. It, and like I said, they're not launched, so wait till, wait till after the Docspad launch. If, so the links work at least. Yeah, the links work, that's great. All right, so let's go ahead and keep scrolling. It talks about their uh, products, the score pay, the score folio. The score folio sounds pretty interesting. Uh, you're going to be able to link a wallet, check out your buys, your transactions, your sells, your uh, reflections, uh, what everything has happened with your wallet. It, it, it sounds, it's, it looks pretty cool. Um, talks about the score NFT tracker and marketplace. That that sounds cool. If they can, if they can get it done, do it right. Great. Uh, the games, tokenomics, tokenomics. So I, I'm truly digging the tokenomics and I think that's the one reason to hold, like in my personal opinion, the tokenomics is the one reason to hold this token. I probably wouldn't use, like with all honesty, I probably wouldn't use the token as they would, as they're building it for. I would use it just to hold it and collect the BNB. Serious, like let's, yeah. straight to the point. Uh, so each buy has a tax to it. Each sell has a tax to it. And we're looking at 5% back in BNB, 2% in their native token, 3% auto liquidity. Great. And 3% marketing because marketing is so important. I like to see those numbers. Each sell has a 5% uh, redistribution to holders in BNB, 3% in their native token, 3% auto liquidity. Great. And the marketing, so they, the marketing is getting a total of 6%. Um, and the buyback burn, I like the buyback burn because how many tokens do they have? 100 billion so at the, the moment. So they're gonna be having 100 billion tokens. Uh, the 2% buyback burn, fantastic, built into the contract, built into your know, every sell. Um, I like the reflections, the rewards. Uh, and something cool about it is the, Auto paid every 60 minutes. So your rewards based on their website are gonna be paid out every 60 minutes. Uh, unlike the trust wallet, with your trust wallet, your reflections are coming instantly. 
and you can just like scroll up and you'll see the numbers changing whereas what they're saying on their website is it's going to be paid out every 60 minutes so you're not going to have that instant <laughs> gratification of seeing your bnb grow uh, uh 60 minutes is still pretty 60 often minutes is pretty good yeah it's pretty often it, it is hyper deflationary like most bsc tokens that offer reflections um they have a big marketing plan and the liquidity they talk about the liquidity three percent from buys three percent from sells sounds great now going into the roadmap barricade uh, so their roadmap's pretty good and i'm 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 digging it it's broken down in quarters and by year just like most other roadmaps so right now we're in quarter four of 2021 the to so what's going on here is the token the contract deployment on pancake swap website launch all that's in action coin gecko coin market listing integration with pancake swap and whatnot okay. they're all they're working on all this stuff right now which is great and we're we get updates regularly on the status of this and then once you get to quarter one of 2022 uh, the score pay grand launch the scorp nft tracker it, just a bunch of cool little things that they're doing that's going to make this the growth pretty strong like it's it's likely like it's looking I, good I, i'm i'm feeling this token right now and i yeah i'm feeling this token how about you, you mike yeah it, i mean like i said what is my number one reason <laughs> it's going to be a BNB. Like, let's be honest. But uh, the plan actually looks great. It looks like it has a good growth thing. Um, it looks like it does have the use case and the whole portfolio thing. That looks awesome. So, But don't take our word for it. Go ahead and jump into the website. Take a look for yourself. And yeah, they have been uh, KYC through Doxed. And uh, yes. And uh, their team, ah, their te I, like, <laughs> they are doxed they for are real. Doxed. So you can go to their team. Let's see. Uh, let me jump to their. Uh, where is that dox launchpad? I want to do it on the screen for people. So we hit the more info on the dox launchpad, and we go to their team. All right. So now we're looking at their team. And what is super great about this is, it, it's they have all their social medias up. We checked out a couple of their social medias. They got pictures of their families and whatnot. So would somebody who's trying to do a rug pull post pictures of their family and attach their would social, they, right. uh, social medias to their thing? Yeah, would it, not it, likely. If if for some reason they're trying to do some sort of rug pull, imagine yourself in their position. Would you would you post your real Facebook? profile because we did click on it i'm not going to click on it in the video because uh <laughs> it shows my facebook too so if, you, if you're interested i, I recommend check, check them, them out. out check them out they have their real facebooks there we went ahead and clicked on it we looked at their facebook uh we didn't send them friend request uh it's not like that but we did look through their facebooks and the the ceo and founder his is not blocked like you know how you go to some people's facebook and boom they got their security setting you got to be their friend to see their stuff uh, it's not the case for CEO founder. He's completely transparent. You can go there, check out his stuff, and it's real. It looks like it looks like <laughs> it's his real profile. So I really it, like that about the transparency aspect. Uh, their, their teams, they're young. They look motivated. They're they're hungry for success. So I, I'm I'm digging it. Oh, and it, there is the information. I believe I've seen it somewhere in here. Um, yeah, the team, they sent their passports, they sent their uh, work permits, their whatever informations, like visas. We're talking we're talking important government paperwork. They provided that to Docs. Docs did some work. They did some work. To so, make sure that the legitim legitimacy is here. Yeah, and if they're trying some sort of scam, I mean, I... <laughs> That would be the silliest thing in history because Docs has all their important information. They have their public profiles on their website. Uh, I mean, 
it just is what it is. It, it's looking like a strong token. So before this gets too long, let's go ahead and get into our uh, evaluation. All right, on to the CMC <laughs> evaluation. All right. So as always, I'm going to read them off, and Metro is going to give us his grade. And, and I'll give the reasoning behind it, and if I have any questions, I'll definitely bounce it back to you. All right, so <laughs> transparency is the first one. All right, the transparency of this token is fantastic. Uh, through docs, they got it verified and uh, doxed. And through their, through their uh, team portal, like on the, on the website where you can click the team, they have their uh, social medias. They're, they're docs. They're, they're, they're very transparent, and I totally enjoy that, so I'm giving them a check. All right, wallet scans. The wallet scans, we are not going to evaluate that. We're not going to give it a check or not a check. Uh, We're going to give it an NA for now because they no. haven't even launched yet. For now, because they haven't launched. All right. So tokenomics. Tokenomics, totally digging the tokenomics. Giving them the check in the box. All I got to say about that is B and B. B and B. All right. Development team. The development team is working on the project. They are constantly working on the project uh, through their last AMA. The, I mean, they talked about everything. They are making Legit. headway, making headway. Yeah. So definitely give them the check in the box for that. The white paper and the roadmap. Well, through the through the video, we went over their white paper. We went over their roadmap. I definitely yeah. recommend you guys check it out. But definitely give them the check. Definitely check. Website. I like the website. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the buttons work. I, w yeah. I wouldn't connect anything just yet until until launch. Like I wouldn't connect the wallet, but their buttons are working. They send them. They send you to different sites. Like everything is working so far. Looks good. I give them a check. The graphics, the design is really well laid out. Yep. Market listings. Market listings. We're gonna go ahead and NA that because they're not launched yet. Yep. Still working through docs. And one thing to note on that they they. Like through their AMAs and through questioning on Telegram, uh, they said they would be trying to get on the flows.trade and Docs would be helping them with that. So I'm digging that and they'll definitely be first up on PancakeSwap and they're going to be pursuing other markets. Yes. Use case. The use case. All right. So honestly, like you guys heard it, I'm, I don't really care about their use case. But I will give them a check in the box because it looks pretty cool. Um, Did we whole, mention the QR code card? Uh, that's part of the use case. They want to be able yep. to let you spend money. Uh, just using a QR code. Just using QR codes. Um, they're they're going to have video games uh, where you can earn their native token. So, I mean, it, it looks like it can get a check in the box from us. Agreed. Audit? The audit... So they have one audit already. Uh, Not the audit we're looking for, but that is in the progress. I mean, an audit, still an audit. Yes. So I would give them a check in the box there. It's not certain yet. They are working on it. So I, I, they already have one. So I'll give, I'll give them that. How about their social medias? Social medias, they've been all over the place on it. So definitely on that. Um, haven't been on their Reddit too much. I did check it. It, there's something going on there still low members uh, when they come out on the marketplaces we'll reevaluate everything but as far as social media is right now I give them a check in the box they're on their telegram they're talking to people they're talking to future investors it looks pretty good so what do you think of this coin overall uh, with it in mind that we are not financial advisors just crypto enthusiasts I think they get the approved I, I second that. When I say legit, I don't mean like it's going to make you money. I mean it's it looks like a good project. Yeah, it like, looks like one of those ones that you're going to you're going to participate in the docs launch pad and you're going to hold docs so that you can participate and you're going to hold this token. That's what it looks like to me. You're just going to hold. You're not going to sell. Uh, I mean if there's some life changing money there, that's one thing, but for the most part, you're going to want to hold this token and you're going to want to hold a lot of this token so that you're earning those BNB rewards from all the paper hand selling. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And if you like this content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
definitely smash that like button to help the alg algorithm with our video. And until next time, there, there you, you have it. You gotta smell it first. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Jeffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. With Disney characters. That sounds disgusting. I know, right? Like Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that. It's 100% Arabic coffee. It's actually pretty good, though. You want to read this? No. Is it pretty good? I think the coffee's pretty good. Like it tastes seasonal. I don't think it's related to Jeffrey Epstein, bro. No, it's not. But with all the rumors about I Disney. Know. I know. Jeffrey's everyday moments that much better. It's not getting any better. All right. Yeah, Ch change your like the coffee's good. I don't recommend using Disney with the stuff going on. I actually on don't the like news. it. And it has a it has a diff interesting flavor. I don't know. I can't identify the flavor. It's not bad. I, like not so scary pumpkin brew, a bewitching blend of pumpkin pie and vanilla. Like, ah, okay. Maybe I it's feel, I pie. feel like it's, I feel wanna feel like the smell. It smells different. Kind of like there's pumpkin, but I don't really taste the pumpkin yeah. because I don't like pumpkin much at all and I had a pumpkin ale last night oh, it's better than it this coffee <laughs> oh you're oh. already recording oh yeah I, I, it's all right I'm not digging the Disney characters all right so not... we're, we're drinking the Jeffrey's coffee let's see here it's, uh, yeah, it's... bring it real close so it's not focusing on us yeah too much. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're drinking the Jeffrey's coffee. It's a Disneyland thing. You can you can get this coffee at Disneyland, or you can get it at TJ Maxx for eight dollars. It's a hundred percent Arabic coffee, and it's okay. It's okay. It's not bad. It's definitely not navy coffee, but it's it's just uh, it doesn't quite have that pumpkin flavor, and. It just, it, it's all right coffee. It's all right. It's okay. For $8, it's fine. Yep. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to drink more coffee.